Hello viewers, we are here in Abiodun Aboya, the cool streets here in Abulegba, Lagos, where we have come to meet with one of our brethren who has a mighty testimony to share. This is a brethren whose wife has experienced the attack of epilepsy for over 15 years. But the hand of God through the set man Dr. Chris Okafo in Grace Nation delivered her in 2019. For a year now, she has not experienced that attack since she stepped into Grace Nation in 2019. So stay put. We will be hearing their testimony in a short while. Just don't go anywhere. God bless you. Uh, welcome, Liberation TV. Uh, you are welcome to my house. Uh, I, this is Joseph, uh, which is about to testify. Uh, I live at uh, Olani Abiodu. Aboya Day number five, precisely um, Abulegba. Uh, you are welcome. And as you have come, God will bless you. I want to say, Great Nations is my last bus stop because I've traveled to many places. I've gotten because of this, my wife's uh, problem is sickness. I've gotten to, many, I've suffered in the hand of uh, many native doctors. Uh, I've entered night, entered morning, afternoon. I have gone to many places, even right here in Lagos State, I have suffered in the, heart, in the hand of many pastors. But I want to thank God for the life of uh, our daddy, our papa, the, the original doctor, who God has made, has used to bless uh, my family by healing her. I'm here to testify for what the Lord God Almighty have done in my life through Pastor Chris Okafo, our papa in the Lord. I'm a blessing for 15 good years. When I, I go to one church to the other, no solution to the Lord God Almighty direct us to Pastor Chris Okafo. And the Lord used him to heal me and my family. Since then, getting to one year plus now, I have no any other feeling in me again. And this sickness I've stopped for a long time when I've not yet married since 25, 2005. Since then to this time I'll be suffering for that sickness, but when I locate great nature and God Almighty heal me from those problems. Uh, it was not by surprise, but I just want to thank God because whatever happened is by the will of God. Um, number one, when this woman started this sickness, I knew even before I married her. But I thank God for everything. I say, okay, before after, before my wedding, this thing has been falling. Problem, problem. I say, okay, I will go into it because I know God one day will elaborate, will heal her. That was when we were still in Kogi State. But I thank God. This is 15 years in this affliction. And she, this thing has been throwing her into what, you no know, uh, outside, throwing her into fires. She has been having a lot of problems. But today, uh, when we came, we came to one time like that, when this thing threw her into a fire, she was epileptic. So this thing has been thrown, no falling her several times. Uh, most time it happened, you know, in a week, two, three times. So I decided that this thing is too much. So when I was looking for a solution from one place to another, this thing was just subsided, but yet it was still manifesting. Not until I sat down when this thing threw her into fire. I said, I will not go to any church. I will not go to anywhere. Even she has said wanted to commit suicide. Me myself, I was feeling for her because Anytime I'm going out, I'll be thinking, God, how this thing will be continuing in this way? Will this thing not go? What kind of stubborn spirit is this? Because I believe it's a spiritual problem. It's not it's something I cannot do it myself. I have prayed over the night, fasted, go to many places. I said, okay, uh, let's be washing. People will be calling me, my former church, they were calling me. I said, no, no. I said, no, I'm not going to anywhere for now. Please, I have a program myself. So after six, seven months, I sat down one day, one cool day like that. So something ministered to me that I should go to Labration City because I've heard about him right from 2010. So I said, okay, I mean 2006 precisely when I entered Lagos newly. So I said, okay, let me go. One day I told my wife, oh, uh, my uh, dear, let's go. I will take you to a particular place. She said, she's not going to anywhere that she rather die. I said, don't worry. God can do anything, anytime, anywhere. I push her. Both of us went to that place. We started locating. We went to beggar. We got to find a place. Anywhere. Once I mentioned the name, I said, Chris or Carfall. 
I don't know the name of the show itself. Immediately, they took me. The Okada man took me to that, brought me to the church. I were there. So we saw, we witnessed a lot that happened there and discovered that my own case is small to what is happening there. So we are in the church when God, uh, God was, uh, our Papa and the Lord were praying to God in heaven. And the Lord God Almighty was performing his miracle hands on people. So there was a lady stand by me. There, there is, uh, Daddy now said that there is a woman that is standing here that he have a moving object in his body, on her body. And that was disturbing the woman. The woman now started there. And I stand by the woman. The woman now started vomiting. When she was vomiting now, that thing now come out. So we now begin to praise God. And I say to God, I say, God Almighty, you that hear your daughter, that you use your son to hear him. I pray that my solution will be over today let me find my own solution and god almighty now speak to papa in the lord he called a man out after healing the man and my own case come out he now said that he don't want me to come and i should remain when i had that the power of god will come upon me when i was there and the power of god come upon me when i fell down when i rise again and i said oh god i thank you you have delivered me i was very heavy like a pregnant woman by then but since that thing happened immediately i come back to myself since where that problem started I'm not sweating, no sweating. I'm just fighting over fighting. I don't know what to do. But that day, since then to this time, I have no any movement or any sickness of epilepsy or any pains in my body anymore. I just want to thank God of this great assembly, Grace Nation. In fact, I pray and I, I'm, I'm, in fact, I don't even know what to say, sir. But Papa's life will live long to see another generation. I mean, the fourth generation to come. I, I'm not wishing him to go because I want him to live to see my generation, 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 generation to come. So I don't even know, I don't know what to give to God in this place. But all my lives, everything I have, I believe I will serve God in that particular place. I will not leave this nation. So anybody coming to that place who having problem, please, I want to see Grace Nation as your last bus stop. God will visit you there. You have everything has to do with uh, you no know, uh, patience. God will see you through. I myself, I don't even know what to say to my God because the God is great. Because the power that He released on me, I don't think no money on this earth can buy it. I give Him praise. I honor Him. I adore him, for he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He that will never make his children to put to shame. I thank you for a greatest thing that I've done in my life. And I'll bless the God Almighty that will continue to give his son more power that will be using upon his children in the name of Jesus. And God will bless our Papa in the Lord. More blessing over blessing will be flowing to his own family in the 